So, first of all, I'd like to hand over to Lisa, who's going to talk to you about smart boards. Hi, everyone. Um, well, Hazel has been helping Greta and I um, in the classroom down, down the corridor a bit because there is a smart board in there. And when we found out we were in that classroom, we thought, oh my God, we're going to have to learn how to use it now. We did feel quite relieved when we realised that there was actually a whiteboard, a normal whiteboard in there as well. So it took a few weeks and then we thought, right, we'll get together and sort of fiddle around with it and start um, seeing how it, how it can work. And Hazel has been really helpful in coming along to uh, help Greta and I get started in how to use it. Now Hazel asked me to talk about three things today, why I use smart boards, why I felt inspired and challenges. There were lots of challenges but she was there to help. Um, so why I felt inspired, I did see um, a demo of a, a mobile smart board out here in one of the conferences that we had quite some years ago. That's what it was and I thought there were lots of people standing around me looking at it and I thought, oh, it's all bells and whistles, very smart, okay, it's probably just the same as the whiteboard, but I was wrong. Um, and then there was a um, workshop that Chris Lovegrove in Marine put on for our school, so I went along to that and I was really inspired by him. Um, and he told us about some YouTube clips where you could see teachers all around the world using them and how to use them. and. I did think, oh wow, that's amazing. And then when Emily said, okay, people who went to the workshop, you might get one in your classroom. So, yeah, that was me. Um, just one of the YouTube things that I saw that was really incredible was, have you guys seen a whiteboard? Smart board, I mean? No. It's just down that 1015, mm. down there. There's it, one up on that 1823007. Yeah. As well. So it looks like a whiteboard, but it's got, um, it's got, it's like a computer screen around it, so you can touch it and save things and do all kinds of things. Anyway, so I was looking on this YouTube clip and it showed a physics teacher. Drew, he drew a line with the appropriate tool on the board and then he sort of clicked and got a little ball shape and the ball shape came over onto the line and pressed go and this ball rolled down the slope of the 